Meet Vinura Pereira, the Sri Lankan hiker who spent six months travelling 4,200 kilometres by foot across the Pacific Crest Trail in the US. And he encountered some wild experiences along the way. I put my headlamp from normal uh, mode to high beam mode and I can see this big cat looking at me, big cougar, and I was like, oh sh shit. The Pacific Crest Trail is one of the most diverse trails in the world, stretching from the border of Mexico all the way to Canada through the states of California, Oregon and Washington. Vinura started his journey in mid-April this year and made it to his destination in early October. But Vinura's thirst for adventure started way back when he joined scouting at the age of 10. Since then, he completed 14 years of scouting where he learned essential survival skills like being creative and resourceful in the great outdoors. This isn't Vinura's first international hiking expedition either. Prior to the Pacific Crest Trail, this adrenaline junkie has been on hikes in Nepal and Japan. But his latest expedition is his biggest milestone yet and one that has been on his bucket list for four years. So he had been planning, training and saving up for this adventure for quite some time. Even after making plans around a post-pandemic new normal, he, like many Sri Lankans, hit a sudden wall that made him rethink everything. And that was the Sri Lankan economic crisis. A lot of people quit to us like, and because if you, are, if you are from US, you can always come back. For me, I did not have that luxury. Because for me, going back to do this hike again will cost me a lot. Taking a leap of faith to chase after his dream was no easy feat. But Vinura went ahead and did it anyway. I did uh, around 15 miles on average a day when I started. And I increased my mileage all the way up to 30 miles when I ended. 30 miles is like 50 kilometers a day and I think that's a lot. But like the many twists and turns of the trail, Vinura had to experience many highs and lows along the way. First twisted my ankle in the very beginning and then I had to deal with wildfires in the middle. And his biggest death-defying challenge emerged while he was hiking alone at night. I was night hiking that day and I had my headlamp on and I was just looking around. And this day I, I can see an animal just behind a rock, just a face, but the normal um, width between the eyes is not usually about like, uh, what's a deer. So I put my headlamp from normal uh, mode to high beam mode and I can see this big cat looking at me, big cougar, <laughs> and I was like, oh sh shit. <laughs> Defying all of these unexpected hiccups along the way, Vinura made it home safely. And he carries with him all the memories and people he met along the way. When the wildfires broke out, this one, one gentleman drive us 13 hours from one end to the other end where the fires are not there anymore. So there was a lot of kindness and a lot of generosity on trail. He also admits that since then, his worldview has completely changed. We talk about America in a way that, you know, fear mongered and say there's racism and whatnot. But on trail, I never experienced one. So don't be afraid to talk people. And that's the story of our very own Vinura Pereira who travelled six months by foot in a country he's never set foot in before. Would you do the same? <laughs>